We've got 12x to the third y to the third plus 16x to the fourth y plus 10xy, all of that divided by 4xy. So there's a, several ways to think about them. They're all equivalent. This is going to be the exact same thing. We essentially can kind of separate the numerators. This is the same thing as 12x to the third y to the third over 4xy plus 16x to the fourth y over 4xy plus 10xy over 4xy. And there's multiple ways to think about it. One is, if I add, if I have a plus b over c, this is clearly the same thing as a over c plus b over c. We're just adding the, we're, we're t taking the fraction apart. If we did it reverse, we would just be adding fractions. The other way to think about it is that we're distributing the division. We're dividing this whole thing by 4xy, so we divide each of the terms by 4xy. The last way to think about it, which is really the same thing, is that we're multiplying this whole thing times 1 over 4xy. So we're distributing the 1 over 4xy times everything, which is the same thing as dividing by 4xy. Either way, we get to this, and we just have to simplify this, really just using exponent properties. So we can divide 12. 12 divided by 4 is pretty straightforward. That is just 3. So let me just write it this way. So 12 divided by 4 is 3, so that gives us a 3. x squared divided by x. Remember, x is the same thing as x to the first power. So that's going to be x, that's going to be x to the 3 minus 2. This is going to be x to the 3 minus 2 power. Sorry, x to the 3 minus 1 power. This is a 1 over here, 3 minus 1 power, which would be x squared. And then finally, you have y to the third divided by y. Well, that's just divided by y to the 1. And so y to the third divided by y to the 1 is going to be y squared. 3 minus 1 is 2. Now let's do the next term. Plus, we have 16 over 4. 16 over 4 is just 4. That is just equal to 4. Then we have x to the fourth over x. Well, once again, x is just is the same thing as x to the first. So this is going to be x to the 4 minus 1, or x to the third power. And then finally, we have y divided by y. Well, that's just going to be 1. So we don't even have to write it down. We could write 1 or right here, but that won't do much, won't change the value. So just these guys essentially cancel out. And then finally, if plus 10 divided by 4, they're both divisible by 2, so it becomes 5 halves. So that part over there simplifies to 5 over 2. So plus 5 halves. And then x divided by x, well, those just cancel out. That's just 1. y divided by y, well, that's just 1 as well. So we're just left with 5 halves. And we're done. This whole expression simplified to 3x squared, y squared, plus 4x to the third plus 5 halves.